extracting functions. Um, here's a grid, and it creates an element, and it adds the class name grid, and and uh, and then there's just the same thing for the row. So let's just make a function out of this, and create element function. Of course, um, just it doesn't. You have to. It has to take the class name grid, so I can use it for the row. So I can introduce a parameter and call it class name, I guess. So it updates the usage down here. Now I'm ready to refactor this into using a row. And nice. Uh, but let's say let's say I want to specify the, the type, the tag type as well. So I can introduce the parameter again, type. It updates both of these. And here's something sort of cool. If I change this into a span, and then I go up here and I say, well, undo, I didn't really want that. Um, I'd like to pull that type back into the function again. I want to localize this parameter. Um, it asks me, well, did you want the div or the span? Because it looks up the usages and you get div and span. Okay, I'm going to go to the div. I can inline this. Let's see, rename element. And okay, let's say I want to create lots of lots of rows. I can extract this function again. Um, add row, I guess. And look, uh, it knows that the grid needs to be a parameter. So I think that's pretty cool. And finally, for loop, let's add ten grid, add ten rows, and this is just um, I can. How do I include the add row into this for loop? I can slurp it in, <laughs> like that. And I can slurp in the return statement then. Well, maybe not. Okay, moving along. 